if we scan the femoral artery more cranially, we will see that the femoral artery suddenly changes into the internal iliac artery. This is very clearly seen because the vessel is suddenly dipping down into the deep area and this is more or less our starting point. The starting point of looking for the spermatic cord. So we have the pulsating artery which is on the right hand side of the screen, femoral artery and iliac artery, external iliac artery up there. And now we concentrate on the ventral aspect of that artery and by moving the transducer more medially we will see an important vessel that's pulsating here that's the inferior epigastric artery and very close to that we find a point by shifting the transducer medially where the spermatic cord is nicely seen and we are also concentrating on the borders of the inguinal canal and these borders are a very bright reflex possible to follow it cranially indicated here this is the aponeurosis of the external oblique abdominal muscle and if we go for the inguinal canal block we have to go through that aponeurosis on the cranial side you see a more dark area this is the inferior border or inferior rim of transversus abdominis muscle. The spermatic cord is an overly shaped structure and this overly shaped structure has in almost all cases a inferior brighter reflex border which is continuous with the ili uh, inguinal ligament. And if you still move our transducer more medially and putting it more obliquely according to the course of the spermatic cord, we are able, even a, uh, able to identify layers within the spermatic cord. And the innermost layer indicated here now will be the internal spermatic fascia. And I go back showing the spermatic cord. Importantly, you see there's a lot of dark areas within the spermatic cord corresponding to vessels, venous plexus, pampiniform plexus, testicular artery, and the vas deferens. This vas deferens is often seen as a tubular structure, nicely seen here now. And we can follow it more medially. Or more laterally again. And this is probably an image where you can see the spermatic cord nicely delineated within the inguinal canal. So this is spermatic cord. This again as covering will be the aponeurosis of external oblique muscle. And if I defreeze it again, I go more to the lateral side. Now I lost the spermatic cord completely because I'm at the lateral end of the external iliac artery. And as you know, the inguinal ring, the inner inguinal ring starts more or less with the offspring of the inferior epigastric artery. This is why I always look for this vessel, inferior epigastric artery. put down the focus rightly. Starting point is external iliac artery. Medial side you will see the beginning of the spermatic cord. This is the inferior epigastric artery. Now you have a clear delineation of the spermatic cord. I go medially. Clearly seen here now. Beautiful image. And then you may appreciate the structures within. Regularly, with this frequency we use, 
I used now 12 megahertz, you cannot see the genital branch of the genital femoral nerve. But this is not our target as far as you use um, very high frequency above 15 megahertz. You would be able to image this nerve. This will be shown afterwards, but this is not the regular procedure. And we have to admit that in only normal weight or slim patients, you will have a chance to image such tiny little nerves as the genital branch of the genital femoral nerve.